Because this is not the beginning of college content on my channel. This is just the beginning of HBCU content on my channel. Are you ready? Are you ready? The announcement is I'm breaking. Ah, ah, ah. Man, I done took out, bitch, I'm out of here. I go home and I done lick my head down. All I seem to think about was you. It's Wednesday, August 3rd, 9.48 a.m. And I am on campus. Campus of St. Augustine University. My latest school. And I have to meet with my advisor to create my class schedule. Okay, I think this is where I need to be. We all swim here, but um, the professor over my department is not in his office, I don't think. I knocked pretty hard, but y'all see him sweating? It's hot in here. Ain't no AC in here. I don't think inside, outside. Like, my makeup literally looks like a mask. Ooh, I forgot I had my brush with me. I can't blend it out because I just used my finger. But I'm just going to take this and pat out my forehead. Y'all look, my baby hair is lifting, but I'm just gonna pat this with my brush and soak up some of this sweat. Probably should have waited till it got a little dry because it's gonna make it patchy looking, but that did it some justice. I ain't gonna touch my nose because I don't want my nose makeup to mess up. And that's more prone to mess up because it's minimal makeup on my nose in the first place. But y'all, I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should just go talk to someone or what, because yeah, at least I look cute. I put my keys right here, but I was actually holding them. Oh my gosh, it's a cockroach. A big one. So I'm just walking around a little bit right now, and I saw this and this um, little directory right here. So I'm going to look and see if it got admissions up here somewhere. I have no idea where the admissions office would be. I literally have no idea what to do right now. I'm gonna just sit at one of these picnic tables until I can get somebody on the phone to help me. All right, y'all, so it is 10.05 a.m. and I am still sitting at this picnic table. Um, I was told that I wouldn't be able to tour the building that I'm moving into today because um, they're working on it. And so that's fine, I'll deal with that. But I'll just have to, once I scope out, once I bring in like the first few things I need, I know like I'm bringing with me like clothes and stuff on Saturday. Um, once I bring those in, I can scope out exactly. So basically I have all my stuff packed up that I know I want to take with me to school, right? And I overpack, so I'm pretty sure it's a lot of stuff. And I don't know what the accurate sizing is for the my room because I haven't toured it yet. Well, not even yet. I haven't toured it. I, don't, I have no idea. So what I'm saying is once I get here Saturday and I bring in like two bins of clothes that I know I'm going to use or have regardless, I can pinpoint what of my stuff I should, I can still bring or I should omit and just put this out of my storage. So basically that's what I was trying to say um, in a nutshell. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's what he's in right now. And plus he didn't answer either. Y'all, I smell the fried chicken and it's fried chicken Wednesday. I want a plate. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna give me one though. Dang, that sucks. I want a plate. For real, for real. Ooh, some mac and cheese. Like, bro, I want a plate. That just threw me all off because I said I was fasting today too. But I'm just sitting here and I called his cell because he had called me up. I, I contacted him. Um through his office phone and his personal phone and he didn't answer so I'm pretty sure he's in that meeting and see last night when he called me he said between 9 to 10 so I got up according to that time and I got here between 9 to 10 I got here at 9 30 but it took me like 10 to 20 minutes to find parking to make sure I don't get towed because who's gonna pay for their cars who's gonna pay a towing company <laughs> not me I'll get my schedule done some way, somehow. So now that I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I'm hungry. I was gonna fast today. I was for sure gonna go get me a coffee though from, um, a coffee from 
McDonald's because that right there helps me fast too because like the coffee curves my appetite so I was gonna do that and I was and that's why I got on camera was to say y'all should I take one for the team like y'all can really answer me but I was gonna say y'all should I take one for the team like should I just leave campus go get this coffee and come back or what and that's what I was gonna do and then I smelled that fried chicken y'all and now I want to play and whenever I come across somebody, I'm going to ask them. Be like, so I'm not able to go get a plate of food. I want some mac and cheese. Like, wait till I see a fellow sister or brother walking this campus. And I'm talking about students. I'm talking about professors, too. Wait. I'm going to be like, excuse me. Do you think I can go get me a plate? I smell that fried chicken from a mile away. The whole time, baby. I'm a, I'm a junior, incoming junior, technically. If I would have continued school and not took a year off, go watch my recent college vlog so you can find out my whole college story. But long story short, if I wouldn't have took a year off and then took two other semesters at other schools, um, class of 2022 was most, de most definitely would have been the year that I received my bachelor's. But it's okay, I'm not saying it in a negative way because I'm class of 2022 with my associates. I have an associate's degree. So yeah, like I, like I was saying, I got called a freshman the whole entire time. And whole time baby i'm 22 years old i'm a grown woman and i have my associate of arts degree and i'm technically a graduate of 2020 with my associate of arts but um i had two classes that i needed to complete so i took them this past semester at a local community college and transferred them back to my two-year school that i went to um initially and received my associate of arts i walked across that stage and everything i vlogged the whole semester of me attending my that local community college and i also vlogged my graduation graduation practice get ready with me all that after party all that so if you're interested go watch that because this is not the beginning of college content on my channel this is just the beginning of hbcu content on my channel are you ready are you ready and at this point i'll make the big announcement and i'll chop and screw these parts of the video as they need to go the announcement is i'm breaking my lease for my apartment i've been living on my own technically since 2018 whenever I moved on campus um, for my first school, Lewisburg College. Um, I went there for two years from 2018 to 2020. Then in 2020 in July, I moved into my very first apartment and I stayed there for a year. Um, I moved out of that apartment in August of 2021 and I moved into my next apartment September of 2021, which, was, which is the apartment I'm staying in now and i'm leaving this apartment i'm breaking my lease um this week and i'm moving onto college camp onto this college campus in a college apartment i didn't know how many roommates i'd have i found out about it after the fact but i secured me a single dorm thanks to my guardian angel that's what i'm gonna call her that's all i need to know my guardian angel thanks to her she secured me that single and I have three fellow roommates, so we're all inside the apartment, but we all have our own rooms. I don't know if it's a kitchen or nothing. I'm pretty sure it's a common area, it's like like, lim like living room area though, um, in there, but I don't know if they have a kitchen. Basically, I've decided to break my lease um, for a whole lot of reasons, but the number one being that I want, I've never had an HBCU experience and well, I went to Winston-Salem State University for one semester, but I, I was online. My all classes were pretty much online. This was fall of 2020, fresh into coming into a full semester um, of the pandemic, because you know the pandemic hit us mid-semester um, earlier that year. But coming into fall semester, we already they already in pandemic mode. So majority of classes were online, and one class was in person. And these were all at the teacher's discretion on whether or not they wanted to be online or in person. So I did have one class that was in person, and the rest were strictly online. So I attended that one class in person for one day, and then I was like, you know what, due to the fact of all my classes being online and I'm staying in my apartment or whatever, like, I might as well just drop this class and attend a class, uh, attend, uh, give me another class online and take that. And I can come and go as I please as far as coming to visit my mom and sister, my grandma, my dad, friends and stuff, because um, I was two hours away from my hometown. This is a better thing for me to do so that I don't have this class schedule weighing on me every week to attend this one class when all my other ones are online. That's the inconvenience in a sense. So that's what I did. Um, I did attend orientation for Western Salem State and that was it. I attended that and I went to class one day, the first day of classes. And after that, the rest were online. 
so I technically attended a HBCU, but I didn't attend a HBCU. I didn't get the experience, none of that. So that's why I'm breaking my lease because I want to get the full HBCU experience while I'm still young and I don't want to put off my education any further than I already have. I want to get this done. I want to get it copy. This is what I want to do. I don't even want to use my education. Like what I, what I have planned for myself as far as career goals and success, my education has nothing to do with it outside of gaining communication skills and et cetera and learning the thought process of people and their upbringings and all that. But I don't plan to use my degree any deeper than that. My interests are totally different. And that's just me as a person. Like I have so many interests and like I want to do it all and I'm gonna do it all. And it's like, who says that you have to choose one thing and run with it? I'm ne I've never been that type of girl. And I'm gonna always be me. I'm always gonna be true to myself. I'm always gonna be unique. I'm always gonna rock my, my faux locks, my soft locks. I'm always gonna wear my makeup, my big lashes. I'm always gonna wear my long, short nails, even though I don't got none right now, but they finna be done. I'm always gonna represent me. And even if we have those moments where we wanna kind of dumb ourselves down or dim our light for other people or to appeal the next, at the end of the day, you gotta know that you came in this world by yourself and you gotta do whatever is fulfilling to you and you only. Whoever gonna rock with you, gonna rock with you and support you, whoever not is not, and that's just all it is to it. Some people might feel weirded out that like I've been living by myself like officially two years. Like I've literally been in my own apartment, no roommates, one bedroom apartment, me paying rent. I, I've, I've done that, I did that. I'm not really concerned with the extras or what anyone has to say because people might think that's weird that I've been staying by myself two years and now I'm moving on college campus, even though it's a college apartment. Um, I'm not going to get the full on HBCU experience commuting. I know I'm not. Um, because I know me. First of all, I'm socially awkward. I have social anxiety. I don't like people. I know how to talk to people. I know how to communicate. I'm a very good communicator. But in general, I don't like people. I'm an introvert. And I'm a homebody. So all that wrapped into one, I literally was a commuter at my last community college um, for this last semester. I literally got went to school went to class I literally drove to school every morning went to class after class ended walked back to my car drove home let me let me backtrack I went to the library after class majority of those days but that's it I didn't make not one friend on that campus and that's how I know if I'm commuting here um, I might be more likely to make more, more friends on the campus because this is like a it's a it's an energy thing like that was a community college this is like a hbcu you know you're gonna see people like you everywhere you look and all but um even if i make a friend in class or something i know i'm not gonna get the full on experience that i could get if i stay on campus so that's why i'm staying on campus and i plan on it being one semester but if i decide to make it two semesters then i'll make it two semesters but i'm gonna have a blast by myself i'm gonna have a blast um, I'm excited to network. I'm excited to meet new people. I'm excited for what this new journey of my life, for where this new journey of my life is going to take me. I'm excited to boss myself up even more. I'm excited to walk across that stage. God willing, in the in two years, class of 2024, with my bachelor's of sociology. Um, I'm excited. And that's all that really matters. You don't have to live your life to please anyone but yourself. And some people might think it's weird, but... I make my own decisions at the end of the day. I'm a grown woman. Even though these people think I'm a child, <laughs> I'm a grown woman. And if ain't nobody gonna get shit done for you, you gotta get shit done for you. And if having a degree is what you really wanna do, i.e. me, even though you don't even plan on using it, bitch, get your degree. And my apologies if my cussing bothers you. I, I do cuss, I cuss. I'm grown, I pay my bills, I cuss. <laughs> but uh, in a sense, I don't want to cuss too much in my vlogs, like how I probably have previously. So in that context, I'll slow that down just a teeny bit. Real subtle, but I'm gonna still be myself. Cause like I said, if people don't accept you at your fullest, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be willing to change. Cause it's always room for improvement and evolving. You gotta know when to, you gotta know when to become better for yourself and to attract others in a sense. 
and you have to know when to just say F it, I don't care what you're saying, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Like, it's, it's part of adult becoming an adult, like deciphering between the two. So, yes, I cuss, ain't nothing wrong with me cussing, I'm gonna cuss if I want to. But in the same sense, it's the time and place for everything. And anybody can come across these videos, especially in the HBCU light and stuff. And my campus is small. There's not practically any videos on YouTube of SAU. So I, I feel like I'm finna be the face. <laughs> Look, I could be just giving myself the big head or this could really become like I could become the face of the school like putting people putting helping put SAU on the map on YouTube so like more people can see it because first of all when you have more people repping something like it helps people become aware and like people need to know how great a school is and if they don't if no one's willing to put their stuff out there for people to know how great you are how great um what something is that they're involved in how are others going to become attracted to it so I very much keep going to face this because I'm going to roll these these vlogs out, this content out. And I hope y'all ready because I'm going to vlog everything. We got move-in day. We got if I participate. <laughs> if I participate. I told y'all. I have my moments whenever I'm out there socially and then I have my moments where I'm introverted. So um, we're vlogging me moving in. I already vlogged orientation. I'm vlogging today um, with me getting this schedule done. I don't even know if I'm even going to still be able to get it done. I'm going to tempted to go home. Because <laughs> ain't no telling when he gets out of this meeting. He could be in there all day. Like, you don't know. You don't know. But um, I'm vlogging first day of class. I'm vlogging any activities that I participate in as far as if it's considered welcome week or like, you know, they got events going on on campus once you get back to school. All that. So if I participate in any, I'll vlog that. Um, and then the vlogs will just continue. I'll vlog me going to my first ever party slash HBCU party. Um, I'll vlog all that. And I hope y'all ready for this ride. I'm excited for this new journey of my life. Um, it kind of just fell upon me a week ago. Like literally today, yes, last Wednesday makes a week since this idea popped into my head for me to move on campus. At first I was just going to be commuting, but God works in mysterious ways. And I'm very excited. <laughs> all right y'all so i can't go in these buildings but i'm just driving up here so y'all can see and so i can see for myself so this is boyer hall i think that's the word dormitory but dorm is it for short so james a boyer hall Okay, not bad. Man, I 